Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class uh, Morning uh, Daily Devotional for Saturday, February the 6th, 2021. Um, I'd like to thank Brother Tony for uh, reaching out and uh, giving me this opportunity uh, to come to you again. Uh, I'm not going to keep you very long this morning, but uh, something I wanted to talk about uh, today is is integrity. And there's plenty of Bible verses about integrity, but uh, one that uh, God laid on my heart is Proverbs 28, 6. Better is the poor that walketh in uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. So, uh, there are many worse things than poverty. Uh, and to be a wicked man who does not live in integrity is much worse. Um, this is an encouragement to the poor who are often despised. And, and it's a sad reality that we have in our world that the poor are despised. Um, you know, one day we may wake up poor. Um, and I, I would hate to be despised just because of my station in life. Um, but we need to remember that upright character is a very important ingredient in anyone's life, but especially the child of God. Um, character is the guard of your reputation, and it's definitely a necessity for success in, uh, in any part of your life. Um, without it, nations, businesses, churches, families, um, they crumble and they fall into moral disarray. But, um, important as character is, there's something that's even more important, and that's integrity. Um, and to me, integrity is, is part of your character. It's who you are. Um, and I can't remember if my mom or grandma told me this uh, when I was young, but, you know, integrity is what you do when nobody's looking. You know? Um, integrity is, you know, something that, um, that not everyone has. Uh, I've, I found that out about, you know, different people uh, throughout my life. But to me, integrity is important. You know, do what you say, um, say what you mean. So, and, you know, integrity could be as simple as, um, for example, I, I was at Micro Center. I guess it was, I can't remember. It was back in the summer. I had gone to Micro Center for some computer parts. I believe it was for the church. And, uh, on my way to the cash register, I uh, I looked down on the floor, and lo and behold, there was a wallet. And uh, I picked up the wallet, and as I was walking toward the front of the store to turn it into uh, the store employee or customer service or whoever I could find to turn it into, this frantic young man was walking back toward the back of the store, and as he got to me, I said, did you lose your wallet? And he said, yes, I did. And, so I, I kept walking, and he was walking with me, and I got it out of my pocket and handed it to him and his dad or granddad. Somebody was there with him, and, you know, the look of relief on their face. Um, it was just it was incredible. Um, but, you know, that that's what you do. Um, I mean, that, that to me is part of uh, being a decent human being, but, but definitely just to be, you know, part of also being a Christian, right? I mean, I've had that done to me where I've dropped my wallet and someone's actually found it and give it back to me. But I know many people who, who that has not happened to. Um, you know, another time I uh, found a, a bank bag full of money, had the name of the bank on it, took it to the bank. Um, I'm not saying that boastfully, I'm just saying it because that's things that I've done. Um, just some worldly examples, everyday examples of things that can happen. But I've also known people that they didn't get their wallet back or they didn't, you know, they found it in a trash can, em you know, empty with nothing in it. So, and wallets aren't the only thing, uh, you know, people have left cell phones and, you know, you name it. But anyway, Long story short, 
you know, that, that's just part of being, that's just part of having integrity. And, you know, I know um, sometimes, especially going through hard times, um, as a lot of people have had to endure over this last year, um, sometimes that can be tough, but you have to lean on the Lord. You know, you have to give it to God and say, God, provide. And, you know, being unemployed for as long as I was last year, the Lord did provide, and we made it through. So just remember, um, you can be an example to someone. Um, and maybe, you know, that's enough to keep them from doing something that they shouldn't do. Um, because you just have to remember the Lord's always watching. The Lord is always watching, and even when nobody's around, He's always around. He can always see. But I just want to leave you with this. Uh, just be an example to folks. Um, because sometimes, you know, your life, and maybe all of Jesus that someone sees, and it can be enough to turn someone to the Lord. Thank you for being with us this morning. We do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you have a very great Saturday. I'm going to close this in a word of prayer now. Father, we thank you so much for this time, Lord, for this medium that we can just reach out to people. Father, that we can share just a little piece of your word, Lord, that can share some experiences, Father, that and Lord, that we might just be able to to uh, bring some hope into someone's life, Father. That we might be able to be that example that you would have us to be in, in this lost and dying world that we live in today. And Father, we thank you for loving us because uh, we don't deserve it. And we love you because you first loved us, Lord. And we just ask that you go with us now, guide us, direct us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for being with us, and uh, thank you again, Brother Tony. I hope you're having a great time in Florida.